Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and in today's video, we are going to take the RP9 V2 for a quality test, so let's get into it. So I decided to print the Roman Colosseum. Um, it just, I happened to see it on Thingiverse, and I thought it looked like a pretty awesome print, and a pretty complicated print, actually, um, with how kind of small this print would really be, um, with it being, as you can see here, it's basically, um, I want to say roughly 600 millimeters um, by maybe 400 millimeters, and uh, there's a lot of detail that goes into it. So um, I basically printed it at 10% in fill with a uh, only a 0.4 um, shell thickness, and I believe I printed it at 0.2 the uh, layer height as well as the original layer. And on this machine, I've been having the best luck at 205 uh, degrees Celsius for the extruder. Uh, it doesn't have a heated bed, so I can't adjust that. So 205 is what it is. It's all sliced up, so let's print this out. So it ended up being much longer than the six hours that it stated originally, but um, I think it turned out amazing. Um, I didn't obviously use any supports in like that because um, I didn't want it to cause damages or like cause any issues. And but because everything is so thin and kind of fragile, I figured removing it uh, would probably damage something. But yeah, I didn't need it. It all turned out extremely well, and I could not be happier with the print and uh, the quality of this printer actually overall. So. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see any more quality tests of this printer. But um, yeah, I am extremely impressed with the quality so far of this printer. And uh, I will place a link in the description to where you can find out more about this printer if you would like to do so. And on that note, I will end the video. Dope Swanner, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. And I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys.